Hey y'all, welcome back to Crochet with Mimi Me. Today we're going to be doing my favorite, what I like to call the body skirt. It's, oh, y'all, I love this skirt. The stitches, the texture, the drawstring, how flattering it is on any shape or size. It's just a beautiful skirt. If you're going to be following along with me, my skirt is a total of 13 inches long and it is about 37 inches wide. Let's get started. Okay, so y'all are going to need two skeins of this Burnett Home Decor yarn in the color cream. I'll also link it down below because I do have this in my Amazon store. You're going to need a 10 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and some measuring tape. Okay, and the reason you're going to need two skeins of yarn is because we're going to be working with two strands. So you're going to take a strand of yarn from your first skein, take a start your strand of yarn from your second skein and then you're going to put them together okay and this is going to be super smooth to work with super easy and it works up super fast and it's so easy to see the stitches so you're just going to take those two strands and you're going to create your slip knot and then you're going to insert your 10 millimeter hook into that loop and you're going to chain up 32 stitches if you're going for my length of course if you want something a little shorter you'll chain less if you want something a little longer you'll chain more but for the 13 inch skirt you'll just chain up 32 chains Okay, and once you have your 32 stitches, you're going to chain up two more. And then you're going to insert your first half double crochet and the third stitch from the hook. Okay. And then you're just going to continue with half double crochets all the way down the row. And you should have... 32 half double crochets once you in this row i'm going to continue down the row and i'll meet you guys at the end to show you what we're going to do for the next row We're coming up to the end of the row. You're just going to insert your final half double crochet in that last stitch. Don't miss it, y'all. It's the last chain stitch. Make sure you insert that half double crochet. And this is what your first row should look like. Ah, I love it. It's so neat and it's just so easy to see the stitches. Okay, so now you're just going to insert your hook, chain one, turn your work. For row two and every row after, we're going to be working in the back loops only. Okay, so you're just going to do half double crochets in the back loops only. Make sure you're inserting your stitch in that back loop for the remainder of your skirt. Okay, so I'm doing my first half double crochet in that first stitch using my back loops only. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to do the same thing all the way down for the second row half double crochets in the back loops only and I'll let y'all do this and then at the end of the row I'll meet y'all there and then we're going to discuss our measurements and how we can get it nice and fitted and flattering for our shape see y'all there Okay, y'all, feel free to pause it here and finish because I'm going to meet y'all at the end of the row. Okay, now we're coming up at the end of the row. Make sure that you're putting that half double crochet in that last stitch. Don't skip it by accident, y'all. Make sure y'all have 32 
at double crochets on this row. All right, y'all, so now that we have our first two rows finished, we're going to pause here and we're going to figure out our measurements so that way we'll know how many rows we need to make for our skirt. And I wrote down a little bit of instructions for y'all. So the first thing you're going to do is measure the widest part of your hip. Okay, so once you have that number, you're going to write that down. And then you're just going to continue this pattern, the half double crochets and the back loops only, until your skirt reaches the length when stretched. So for me, my measurements was 40 inches around. And I actually, ironically, completed 40 rows and it measured 28 inches without stretching. And with stretching, it measured out to be around 41.5. Okay, so go ahead and pause this and complete all of your rules. This is without stretching and this is stretching, okay? So I'll also show you how I do it with the measuring tape. Once I completed all of my rules, I actually measured my project and I did less rules with this one. So I stretched it out, but without stretching, it measured out to be about 26 inches. And with stretching it measured out to be around about 37 inches okay and once you have all of your rules this is what it should look like whether you're making an extra small small medium large extra large this is what it should look like and then this is what it will look like once we close it but first we have to do our borders so we'll start that right now Okay, so just insert your hook back into that last half double crochet that you did and chain one. Then we're just going to turn our work. And now for the border, we're just going to do single crochets all the way across the top. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. I usually just put a single crochet in every row. But if I notice that one particular stitch may have some type of gap and it'll make the gap larger, I will skip that stitch and I'll show you exactly what I mean because I'm not going to speed up this part just because I want y'all to get it. But you'll just insert a single crochet in every stitch across. If you feel like a stitch has a bit of a gap, just skip that one and go into the next one. You may not have to skip at all or you may have to skip one or two depending on your stitch gauge, how loosely or tightly you crochet. But I'm going to shut up and let y'all finish y'all border for the first side.
Okay, and I'll just stop here since we made it halfway. It gets a little repetitive, but feel free to pause it and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so now we're coming up on that last stitch of that last row of the skirt. And this is what our border should look like. Nice and neat and straight across. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is close up our skirt. Okay, so we're just going to fold our skirt and we're going to close it up. Our border is actually facing the opposite side. And then once we close our skirt up, we'll be able to flip our skirt inside out so that everything is seamless and smooth and pretty. So let's get to closing it up. So you're just going to insert your hook in the first side of the panel and then insert your hook into the loop where we end it. And then we're going to just wrap the yarn around and pull through both loops to attach both panels. Now we're just going to go through both panels. Okay, and now what we're going to do is single crochets to connect both panels by going down the row. So what you'll do is insert your loop into the following stitches and create a single crochet. So you'll insert in the next stitch of one panel, insert in the other panel, pull through that loop, wrap around, pull through two. And you'll have single crochets going down these two panels to bring them together. I hope I'm making sense y'all. And it should line up seamlessly because we do have our 32 stitches along with our border that we already connected. So just make sure you're staying in line with both sides. And per usual, I'll meet y'all at the end of the row so that we can finish our final border. Okay, y'all, we made it. So we're coming up on those last final stitches. And we're still aligned with everything. Okay, we got our last two. So we're going to complete our last two single crochets. All right, y'all. So we're coming up on that last stitch. So now we are all locked. And we're locked and loaded. Both of our panels are connected. Now we're just going to do the border on the other side. So what you'll do is flip your skirt inside out. And then you're going to actually pull your yarn through the skirt. And we're doing this because I actually like to complete the second border from the front so that it has that front way single crochet look. I hope I'm making sense, y'all. And, um, yeah, we're going to be working from the outside now so that our border is facing front ways. And we just want to get our yarn aligned so that we're not having to twist and turn and do all types of things with our yarn. So just make sure that you're flipping your skirt inside out, pulling that yarn through. So now we're working on the outside of the skirt. So your seam should be inside. Okay, now you'll just insert your hook back into that loop where we ended connecting both our panels together. And we're just going to do the same thing as last time for the other border. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to do single crochets in every row of the skirt. It's optional if maybe a stitch is too big and it may create a bigger gap. That's optional. That's just part of my preference. But you can go in every single row of the skirt doing single crochets all the way around. And just so it doesn't get repetitive, I'll do a few more and I'll speed it up and meet y'all at the last final stitches so that we can close up.
Okay, and now we're coming up on the last few single crochets with our border. And as you can see here, we're getting right up on that closing point. So you're just going to create a slip knot in that first chain that we created when we started, okay? And we're just going to take our scissors and we're going to cut the yarn. So now we have our tail and then we're just going to chain one, pull that loop through and tighten it as much as we can, y'all. And that's it. That's it for the skirt, y'all. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. I'm so proud of you. Now we just have to do our drawstring. Okay, so you're just going to take a look at your skirt and wherever you want your drawstring to go. I don't know if your skirt may look a little bit like, oh, this part should be the waist or this part should be the bottom. I'm picky like that too, but I'm just going to choose which side I want to do. For the most part, they look the same, but yeah. So now we're just going to take our two strands of yarn and we're going to create a slip knot. And you're going to do your chains for your drawstring. Now, this is completely customizable. I consider the size I did for the video a size medium. So I'm going to do 83 chains and I'll also insert all the sizes here to the right for how many chains that's suggested, but it's totally up to you. If you want your drawstring longer or shorter, you can do as many as you like. Just making sure that it goes through your entire skirt so that it wraps around your waist. Okay, and now I've completed my 83 chains. Now I'm just gonna get my measuring tape and measure my drawstring just to see how long it is, how much of my skirt it will cover. And then just in case you guys are using me as a reference, I got to about 35 inches not stretched and when stretched is about 38 to 38.5 inches, 38 and a half inches. Okay, now we're just going to cut our excess yarn I just cut mine again because I wanted it to be shorter for drawstring purposes. Then we're just going to insert our hook back into that loop. And we're just going to pull that yarn right through and tighten it as much as we can. Okay, y'all. And there's our drawstring. Ah! Y'all ready for the finale? The finale. We're going to be inserting our drawstring into our skirt. Super easy, super simple, and quick. Okay, just make sure that you're choosing whether or not you want the top or the bottom to be the top or bottom of your skirt. For me, the top was where I actually closed up the skirt. So now we just want to start where that seam is. Okay, so now we're just going to take our hook, insert it into the border, and pull our drawstring through that first stitch. Okay, and then we're going to skip one and pull the drawstring to the back. Okay, then we're going to skip one and pull it to the front. And then we're going to skip one, and y'all guessed it, pull the drawstring to the back. Okay, and you're just going to repeat this pattern, skipping one, pulling the drawstring through the front, skipping the next chain, and pulling it to the back. <clears throat> and you're going to do this all the way until you reach the point where you started. Okay, I'll meet y'all there.
Okay, y'all, and we're coming up on the last one. We're going to pull that drawstring through the back. And then we met up with the other side. And this is what it should look like. Now I'm just going to take and make sure that both of my strings match up. So I'm going to cut that excess string, that excess tassel, excess yarn, however you want to put it. And there we are, y'all. Once you put it on, you'll be able to pull both strings and it'll fit tightly around your waist. Thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the matching body top. Wow, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for tuning in again.